guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video, it's a beautiful fondant cake, perfect for a baby shower, and I'm also going to show you how I made this adorable uh, cake topper. It's like a hot air balloon, but with clouds. So if you guys wanna see how I made this, well, I'll keep on watching.
So this cake was a seven inch cake. What I did is that I did my crumb coat and then my second coat of buttercream. And in between, I popped it in the freezer for about five to 10 minutes. And when that was good to go, I went ahead and covered it with uh, fondant. The fondant that I use is um, by Wilton. I like the fondant, but there's other brands out there that you can use. So many people ask me how I make those nice crisp edges on the sides. What I do is I always use two of these and then I basically create like this kind of motion with both of them on, this, on the, the edge. So like that, I have a really, really nice like edge like almost like when I do like buttercream and then you can also place this one like that and then with this one go like this and you go all the way around that's for that if you get bubbles a little trick that I have simply poke a hole with a toothpick so it will release the air that is stuck between the cake and um, the fondant or should I say the buttercream and the fondant and then you can go ahead and then smooth it out with your smoother and then the, the bubble created will just remove on its own or also you can push the bubble down so like that it will just get out of the cake if you if that makes sense like that also then I created little polka dots everywhere and a cute little pacifier and also 3D um, cloud at the bottom, which I use a, a specific mold for it. It's a 3D mold. It will be linked in my description box in this video. I love, I love that mold. It just makes that perfect, perfect cloud. And um, that was for that. And also for the Oh Baby, what I did is that I use this kind of like mold it's an impression mold. These are new in the market and I just love them. I love them because they're very different. As you can see, there's creases. Instead of like popping out and then having that crease, um, this one actually, because it has that crease, when you roll your fondant, the, um, the lettering is like 3D. So it comes, I have an example, I'll show you. So you get, see, it's like really, really 3D and you can touch it. Unlike the other molds, it wouldn't be like a 3D effect like that. It would actually be like, like lettering, but in a crease. And then you can go ahead and fill it up with ink or whatever. But I really, really like um, this kind of design. And there's so many other designs or happy birthdays and stuff like that, even uh, letters. So really, really like the product. And then for the top, I did that cute little teddy bear. I've done many videos on it, so you can go ahead and look at previous videos that I've done on that. And then for the bottom part, um, basically what you need is simply have like a, uh, like almost like a rectangular shape of a uh, fondant. And what I do is that I mix it with tylos. Tylos and fondant becomes like gum tacks. So many people actually look, it's written right here, gum tax. So many, many people ask me, what is Tylos? Well, Tylos, um, it's a gum tax. So it's, it's the same name or product, should I say it? And basically what this is, it's just in a power form. And it just stabilizes your fondant. It dries up quicker. It speeds up the process of drying. So I always use these for my figurines it's very very helpful um i just flash all over me so yeah it's very very helpful so that's for that and then for the 3d cloud um i've done a video last year which it was super helpful you guys loved it so much so basically it's just that you create different shapes round shapes of fondant again mix it with your tylos and then you just glue them together and then over that you're going to place a piece of fondant and then just mold it and then cut the excess and then you get that beautiful cloud and then from there make sure to insert some uh, wooden skewers so you get uh, the length desire and you leave it there to dry at least three to four days like really and don't joke with that because the skewers are just going to go right through and your piece is just going to fall so leave it there for like at least three to four days and then you can go ahead and then place it onto your the bottom of the hot air balloon 
whatever that's called. Um, what I do, just so that I know it's going to stay well and put, once I do the top part and the bottom part of the hot air balloon, I know exactly the placement of the skewers. So in order, when once both pieces are gonna be dry, to make sure that they um, align properly, because don't forget, um, it's important to do this, because don't forget, once your pieces are gonna be dry, it's gonna be very difficult for you to take your skewers and insert it, because it's gonna be dry. So create the creases, the holes, before, and then let it dry. So just take the top part, just insert the skewers into that bottom part. So like that, you'll have uh, the perfect gauge to connect both pieces together, if that makes sense. And then just remove it and then both pieces separate to air dry for at least four days. And then for the bottom part, um, I use this kind of a roller. I really, really like it, like see, it gives like that basket um, effect. So I really, really like that. And then for that cute cord look, what I did is that I used my extruder, love, love, love my extruder, just place a little bit of fondant in it and then just extract it. And then you'll get a weird piece, just twist it, and then it gives you that cord effect. And then you just glue that on top of the hot air balloon base. Uh, with a little bit of water not a lot just a little bit water and fondant will create glue and then you can go ahead and then place your teddy bear do it before because the teddy bear is just like leaning on it so it's important to do the cord before and uh, that was it so very simple clean very modern cake i really like this cake a lot was a very very beautiful cake i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that i put up thanks for watching and see you in the next one